Drunk on his success, it's not long before James is thinking of getting Mercy the matching bridal head tie. Yeah. Hold your horses, mate. You haven't even bought her white wedding dress yet. All right, either way, I'm going to blow my budget with this. Tell me, what's your budget like? How much do you well, want to spend? I would say all in all, everything mm -hmm. 300. So the material and then the outfits, 300. In an Africa wedding, nobody should outstand you. Mm. Nobody should dress more than your bride. Mm. Your bride should stand out. To afford the standout dress, James has got to lose the head tie. Sadly, James can't fly to Lagos on his budget. So he's off to the next best thing, Brixton Market. He needs traditional wedding costumes for both him and his bride. Look out! Don't want to get it wrong. I'm going to get there and everybody's like, oh my gosh, what has he done? It's not just the Nigerian box he has to tick. The colour he chooses needs to be specific to Mercy's family's tribe. I'm not Nigerian and um, I have no idea where to start. Faced with a rainbow of colours and fabrics, James considers looking pretty in peach. Oh, I could imagine that, looking all regal. <laughs> yeah. But he's no idea if Peach would be an insult to his bride's Echekeri tribe. Did you not do any research before you came out? Not as much as I thought I needed to. This boy needs someone to save his bacon. So I just need an idea of where to go and what to look for. She's Echekeri, I'm not sure if you know. It's a very small tribe. OK, now, uh, do you know what part of Nigeria that Benin. is? OK, that's not too far from where I'm from, where okay. my family is from. Right. Yeah. Oh, really? You can get a lot of those kind of things in West London. Petticoat Lane, um, Liverpool, around Liverpool Street Station. Oh, right. If you go around there, there's a lot of shops there that deal in all these kind of things. Smash it. But how's he even going to know it when he sees it? Thanks again. Thank you. Bye-bye. James, the novice Nigerian, tries Petticoat Lane and has the good fortune to fly straight into the safe hands of an African angel. Shekuri. Shekuri yeah. yeah. is usually kora colour, okay. pinkish, wine, okay. Okay. colours like that. Yeah, so if we go with something uh -huh. like that, that would, that uh -huh. would be nice. How about dusky pink then? Usually, African men don't wear pink. Yeah. You understand? I see. So what about um, something like this one here? Just one, one along the bottom. This one? Yeah. Yes, you can wear that. I see. Yeah. James might look like a plonker in pink, but it seems they can both carry off champagne. Oh, right. Drunk on his success, it's not long before James is thinking of getting Mercy the matching bridal head tie. Yeah. Hold your horses, mate. You haven't even bought her white wedding dress yet. All right, either way, I'm going to blow my budget with this. Tell me, what's your budget like? How much do you well, want to spend? I would say all in all, everything mm -hmm. 300. So the material and then the outfits, 300. In an Africa wedding, nobody should outstand you. Mm. Nobody should dress more than your bride. Mm. Your bride should stand out. To afford the standout dress, James has got to lose the head tie. Let's hope his princess won't chop off his head. And welcome to Africa ah, World. Thank you. But his bride expects two dresses. Surely he'll find it easier to choose a white one. Uh, nope. Have you any idea on fabrics, whether you like oh, lace no. or satin uh, or to, just something quite... Me. Kind of I, I need to be then. yeah very slim i need to be schooled up. i just absolutely <laughs> no idea where very to start slim, yeah. decisions just aren't james's thing she's quite girly or <laughs> no yeah yeah she's quite girly fitted stuff um yeah 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 a lot of fitted stuff really that narrows it down so which one do you prefer out of these two all three of them in fact i think i like the um, the re reverse on this one, like I like this on this one, and I like that <laughs> like, top part on that. So it's just like yeah, just let, let's just mash it all together. We'll, uh, we'll have a perfect dress. Oh, uh. Mercy, however, knows exactly what she wants, and her bridesmaids Dulcie and Natalie seem to agree. You look, Mercy, you look beautiful. You look really, really beautiful. It's got the neckline that you want. It's got everything. It's even got the train. Yeah. No, that, that that's really, really lovely. It's really lovely. 
it's big, it's bold, it makes a statement when I walk through a room. It's it's still elegant because I, I, I am a very elegant lady. And <laughs> it's just got everything about me attached to this dress. If only James could be that decisive. Get in the woman's dress. It's going to be... Oh, gosh. They're all, they're all really nice in their own unique way. Yeah. But it's... it's like a picture of us coming in and bursting into tears just saying, what was it done? That. <laughs> Princess Mercy's found her fairy tale dress a hand beaded ivory gown with a chapel length train. It's quite flamboyant, it's very fairy tale. All topped off with a diamante tiara. Oh, you look like a princess. I do feel like a princess. I'm actually going to throw the biggest tantrum in the world if I don't get it. So you don't know anything that she would like a, about a dress? No. Oh my gosh. What do you do when she talks to you? I told you. I <laughs> just ignore her. It's just that little, it's like a little, little jingle going on the back of like Homer Simpson. That'd it's be like, a lesson for all the men out if there. If I can go back in time. Sadly, James doesn't have a TARDIS. This is the nerve I can fix. It can make or break yeah. the wedding. Mm. No pressure. I think I made my mind up already. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, the first one was, I think, is better. Amazing. James has made the first quick decision of the week. But is it the right one? I know you don't make up your mind because you don't want to do another day with this. <laughs> <laughs> don't just I, I, I like make it. do. No. Making do isn't in Mercy's dictionary. Worst case scenario, if he gets you a dress that you really don't want to wear, what are you going to do? I will go to my sister's house and go and put some jeans on and go and put a t-shirt on and I will be coming down the aisle with high heels on and a tiara. That's what I will be doing because I will not be wearing it. <laughs> um, oh, oh. So what's it going to be, James? Um, that one. This one? Yeah. Yes, it, this one. We can do for 800. Okay. Deal done. This reluctant groom is now the proud owner of two wedding dresses, and all for 1,300 quid. There are over 1,000 individual decisions to be made for the average wedding. So far, James has made three, and he has less than two weeks till the big day. Has she ever said to you particular flowers that she really likes, or have you ever been to weddings together where she's gone, oh, that's really nice? Um... No, I don't think there's been a case where... She did. She, yeah, well, this is it, yeah. I just, I just kind of tend to zone out after a while. Good thing this groom has a new strategy, letting other people make his decisions for him.